Hey everyone, I'm here today taking a look at the Jurassic World Chaos Theory Gigantic Trackers Mapasaurus from Mattel. And here's the packaging quickly, it's pretty standard for these Jurassic World Chaos Theory Epic Evolution figures. Now the articulation is pretty basic for one of these, you know you've got the legs that go forward and backwards and they pivot out to the sides and then the arms do the same, pivot out to the sides and move around. The arms are actually really soft and rubbery, which I'm not keen on. And you can see there how soft that is, it just completely bends back, very very rubbery. And it's not often they do that for the front arms on these type of dinosaurs. I'm not sure why they have for this one, but hopefully it's not something they're going to continue doing. They're really, really gummy. The ankles will also swivel as well, if you want them to. And the tip of the tail does. But neither of those are articulation points I really like, because it sort of breaks up the sculpt and they seem a bit pointless. We've got a couple of action features on this. The first one is the Underneath there, basically where his bum would be, if you stick your finger up there, these spikes pop out of his back. So you just press that button and they pop out. And then you've also got a couple of wheels on his shoulder blades there and they both do the same thing, even though there's two wheels. They basically make the head just go up and down. But we see on a lot of the dinosaurs that are out at the minute. And you can pose it in different positions with that because the wheel kind of locks in place. So you can have it facing down with the mouth open facing forward with the mouth closed. It will go up in the air with its mouth open as well, like that. So you've got three different poses, mainly, that you can put it in. I think the main appeal of this is the sculpt. It's got a really great sculpt. Like, the scales have got a very unique look to them, all going down the body. But on top of the smaller scaling, he's got these really big bony protrusions that look almost like rock. You can see them more on his back, which I'll show you in a second, and on the back of his head, but it looks really awesome. There's a nice bit of shading work. You can see kind of darker spots on the nose there in the paint job. But going along the back of the head, there are kind of three rows of bony protrusions coming out there. And they look really rocky. I really love how scaly he looks. It's quite unique looking. I can't think of another dinosaur in the line that's quite like this, with this level of scaling and all these bony protrusions and spikes. The toenails are painted, which is nice to see because it's something that's been a bit lacking. It's not that intricate a paint job, but there are those darker details along the face there and going down the neck. So there's like a slightly darker shade of the blue there, and just about see so going around the eye, which does look nice, and it makes a difference when they have little bits of shading like that and uh, sort of different colour tones in there. But it is mainly just those two colours you can see, the kind of sandy colour and then the dark blue along the top. Tongue's nicely sculpted as well with texture on there, and it's got those thin, sharper looking rubber teeth. So that's the Maposaurus, really nice looking, pretty unique design to it, I love the scaly detailing. Paint job's not too bad, even though it's reasonably simplistic, but still a pretty cool looking dinosaur. So let me know what you think of this guy in the comments, and I'll catch you again soon.